to Canada Day, everyone. Today is the 1st of July, and uh, stay with me and see where I head today. I'm going for a little walk. I got my new um, backpack that I received. It's a nice 70 liter backpack for when I go to Nepal. Um, today I'm gonna walk probably about 45 minutes or so till I get to our destination and see what we get up to. Here's a little uh, update on the old lion diet as they call it. So it's the all red meat with the salt and water. So today is day 16 on the diet. Um, it's going pretty good. Um, you know, uh, the hardest part is day was day four for myself. You know, a lot of stomach cramps, you have a little bit of uh, constipation and diarrhea almost simultaneously. So it's, it's while your body gets used to it. But now it seems to be in full, full flight. The only thing that's hard is not drinking anything other than water. So you have uh, sparkling water, hot water, cold water, and water with ice and warm water. So that gets a little boring, but uh, like I said, we're over the halfway mark. I have 14 more days to go. So all in all, it's going good. I can see uh, a big improvement on the old waistline of that. I didn't bother weighing myself because I'm just doing it for the overall reset and stuff. So I wasn't really concerned with, you know, the amount of actual pounds I lose or stones or kilos or whatever. But today I'm going to show you a nice little scenic part of Wexford. So if you're coming into Wexford town and you want to have something to do with the, the little kiddos, this is where you can go. So you weave the roundabout and then you come up here and to the left you see the new Loretto um, High School, secondary school. It used to be on Spalwell Road, a few years back they created a new one up in this location. And then if you look right in front of me, here you see the sign of our destination today. Get a little closer. Park just to the right, so if you're taking a car up, if you look uh, just over there, there is a bus stop. So you can take the Wexford bus, the local link, connect, and take it. And here's a little plaque. It's, it's all turning green. Here it is. So she was born in uh, Tom Cool County, Wexford, on the 29th of December. 1884 and she died on the 11th of April 1977. She took part in the Easter Uprising and she was a member of the Kuma Navan, the Irish Republican movement who served in the GPO during the Rising. Um, so Tom Cool is just outside of Timon. So if you remember the Timon walk we did, um, it's one of my first vlogs. You can go check it out if you follow me. Check the way uh, my vlogs. And then park and playground. So we'll walk around and see what Min, Bike, Min Ryan Park has to offer. So her name was Mary Josephine Ryan and everyone called her Min. That's where the name gets she gets the name from. Here's a nice big playground for the kids. She had six kids herself, and she both uh, she taught uh, German and French. And she spent time in Germany and France um, before the uprising. So here's the play park. You see, and you can see over there that's the car park there. See, nice big wooden structure, little play areas, plenty of stuff for the kids to do. And I'm going to show you another new feature that they added, which is really cool for the bigger kids, and that's a skate park. It's something that was wanted for a long time. So we'll go around and take a look at that. We'll take a look at the little sign here, see what it says, as though the description of the playground items. Yeah. 
So, it's used for kids between 2 and 12. And some public bathrooms. And there's a little coffee uh, port there, so if you can come here and get a coffee or an ice cream with Molly. Here's the whole layout of the Minrai Park. So we're here. So there's the car park. Here's the play area for the kids. And you can see, it goes all the way around. There's a kickabout area here for footballs. Seven is uh, the future skate park. Um, number 10 over here is the dog walk uh, park, the dog park. Five is a picnic area. Nine is the wetland. And what's 11 over here? A memorial garden. So what we're gonna do, so we're right around here. We'll keep walking this way. We'll do a loop there around, see what it's like. So follow me. There are little zip lines too for the kids. That's neat. There's a little girl getting on it now. Here's the car park. Follow around and see what Min Ryan Park has to offer. So, like I said, when you're here with, uh, you know, your family and if you have young kids, you know, there's, sometimes you want to stretch the old legs, and there is something for the kids to do as well. So it's one thing to go see historic spots and stuff, but you want to have fun with the little ones, and they can come up here and. You know, it's a really nice scenic place. Lots of benches, picnic areas, you get a coffee. Now we'll just walk around. So I'm not sure which way to go. There's a couple of little branches. Oh, fall on the main one on the outside. It's a nice, uh, nice day so far. It's a sunny little cloud. It's uh, warm enough. A little windy, but uh, by no means is that uh, off-putting or cold or anything like that. I don't think you would need a jacket. Myself, I'm just wearing a good old t-shirt here and it's doing me fine. I'm not cold, I'm not hot, just about right. So there's some more little foot paths around. Let's see where we're going. I'm not really sure if we get to the Different rooms here. I don't know, there's some parts here, it keeps going. It's a big enough area. And here we have some sort of memorial here, we'll take a look at it. Let's see, uh, oh. it's about the uh, First World War, I see. Show you all four of them there. And we'll continue on our, our walk. It's a couple of flag poles there. No flags on it though. And then here's a, I take it that's the dog. Now if you notice there's some of the grass is like cut and mowed and kept and the other part we see and it was a little higher. 
that's for biodiversity and, and trying to save the bees and all that. So they let stuff grow, which looks like letting it grow long and out of control, <clears throat> but it's actually in control. It's designed that way. At the end of the summer, they'll, they'll just cut it all down. <coughs> There's always benches that have been dedicated by people. And here's the dog walk area. It's pretty handy for the dogs. Lots of bags and garbage for it. Here we come up to the skate park. There's a few kids on it. It's the first time I'm seeing it. I've never been up to Min Ryan Park, so the vlog gives me an excuse to go to different places I haven't been to before. And now you can see it too, what it's like. So if you're visiting here, or even if you're a local and never seen it, you know, you get to see what it's like. So here's the skate park. Healthy Wexford. See, and then they have all the little skater parks. A lot of kids are on bicycles and that, but I guess it's still early in the day, so too early for the uh, teenagers to come out, but I'm sure the old skateboards and that will be coming out in the afternoon. But that gives you an idea skateboard and then here is a basketball park. Here's where you can fill up your water bottles. Handy dandy. Let's see if it works. Yep. Here buddy. And then here's the basketball nets. It's on a Faked surface, and you can also play soccer. See, you have the indoor zone. Very, very good. Like I said, didn't know this was here. Like I said it's about a 45 minute walk from my place to get here, and if you were driving, you'd be there in about five minutes. So. Well worth it. And see what I mean about the grass that's left growing? It's for biodiversity now. It'll be cut down towards the end. Here's some old deadwood trees lying there. Trees have been carved up a bit left there, so decoration feature. I don't know if it's a real sculpture. I don't see a sign on it. I said all these chairs seem to have someone's name on it with years. Remember we were talking about the, uh, the wildlife flowers. So here's what I'm talking about. So that's why they keep it like this. See, there's some more trees there. I think there are fruit trees growing. So you see there are random trees planted around. Keep walking. This is where a little stream comes in. Right now it's pretty dry. We haven't had much rain in the last two months. Too bad there's graffiti. You know, and if you're gonna do graffiti lads, at least be artful on it. Uh, that's just tasteless rubbish. Like you know, you see some uh, street art, like if you go like into like in Escorti, they had a few that were like street art designed and stuff. They're really nice. Like it shows you made some effort. That stuff is just rubbish. No imagination found there, lads. And 
here we go around. And there's the back part of the Loretto School. It's nice all green kept. You can go back. So if you would have taken that pathway when we first passed the park and come up here. So there's all these little different treks that you can walk around here. Have a nice little picnic. Enjoy the uh, outdoors. And it's just outside of the town, like not really outside. Um, it's just up the uh, distillery road. Just keep driving up it and then it becomes, uh, you're gonna go into a roundabout area and it's, uh, I believe it's the first roundabout you take it to the left. And there's like the little part, so you see they have a all weather purpose and then concrete uh, training area and in the back there's a pitch, a field, and then it's the school itself. So, it's pretty nice and everyone's bringing their dogs to that. They only tell you like if you bring your dogs make sure you pick up after you. Hi, pick up after yourself and keep it beautiful like it is. When you've seen yourself there's lots of places to pick up the bags and the rubbish. And then we're back to the park here. You see the kids running on the, uh, the zip line things. See the zip line pick? Looks like they're having fun. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff for the kids to play with. And we'll make our way back towards the entrance. So someone had asked me to show off the Minrine Park and the Laredo and that, but um, the Laredo itself would only be interested for the few people, but the park itself is open for everyone. So I touched up on the Minrine, uh, the Laredo a bit, but mostly it was the Minrine Park. So I wanted to show that off, but you know how the, the old diet's going on uh, day 16 and um, I got something planned coming up. Next week is a busy uh, week for myself, so I probably won't be able to get a vlog in, I don't think. I have the handover of the presidency of the Lions Club. So it's been a busy year. And uh, and then we're going to a wedding on the, the Saturday. But next, the following week, I have a special treat for you. Um, if you ever watch Father Ted and the little Fun fair. Well, we have something a big version of that in Wexford, so stay tuned to that. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button and uh, the bell button to be notified for when it comes up and see what's happening on it'll be the 13th of July. Uh, this is when I'm going to go there, so the blog will be uploaded uh, just a little bit after that. So stay tuned for that and see what happens. <laughs> 